What's up, people? Piz out here. And today I want to talk to you guys about the story that has practically broken the internet. It was announced the other night, Monday, May 23rd, at around 11-ish p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that John Carpenter will be returning to the Halloween series to serve as executive producer and creative consultant for the next Halloween film which is slated to be released next Halloween 2017. And the horror community has just flipped their lids. There's so much hype already. Everybody is just super stoked about John Carpenter returning to the Halloween franchise. And maybe it's just that I'm Maybe it's just that I've turned into a cynical old man because my initial reaction to the news was pretty sardonic. I mean, my reaction was, wow, so it took Miramax, Trancus, and now Bloomhouse to come together to pool enough money to make John Carpenter want to be attached in any way, shape, or form to the next Halloween film. To the, what is this, the 11th Halloween film? The 10th sequel? And don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking John Carpenter here. Pay that man. He deserves every penny. Pay him and pay him handsomely, and I'm sure that they have. You know John Carpenter was not sitting at home thinking to himself, God, there's nothing more that I would want to do right now in my life than serve as executive producer and creative consultant for the 11th Halloween film. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. They put together a lot of money to get John Carpenter involved. And now there's, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. John Carpenter deserves every penny, pay him and pay him handsomely. <clears throat> But my sort of, you know, cynical <laughs> approach to Halloween 2017, whatever it will be, and I've, I've, I've read conflicting stories. I read one story saying that it's going to be a remake. I read one story saying that it's not going to be a remake. It's not going to be a reboot. It's not going to be a sequel. So is it going to be a prequel? What, what is it? So there's some conflicting stories as to what the story of Halloween 2017 is going to be. And the way I look at it is, you know, there's pros and there's cons. I think the one thing that we can look forward to is that next year there will be a Halloween film. There will be a new Halloween movie for two reasons. Bloomhouse Pictures. Jason Bloom behind Bloomhouse Pictures. That dude produces movies by the bushel. I read a story not long ago. He had produced so many films. Bloomhouse Pictures had produced so many films in such a short period of time that he couldn't release them all. He was having to just dump them, just dump movies. Straight to On Demand, straight to Blu-ray, straight to Netflix, straight to Lifetime, straight to Telemundo. Just get them out. He produced so many in such a short amount of time <laughs> that, you know, he just had too many. And, of course, Bloomhouse is the company behind uh, Sinister, behind Insidious, behind a lot of not bad horror movies and quite a few um, pretty bad <laughs> horror movies. Um, but I think with him aboard, definitely this movie is going to be made. And number two, of course, with John Carpenter's name attached to it, I mean, it will be promoted to the nth degree as John Carpenter presents or you know it, it will be John Carpenter's name will be all over that movie more so than <laughs> whoever is on board to direct it or any other name it'll be John Carpenter and you know he's executive producer he's creative consultant how much of a creative how much creative input is he going to have on the movie is kind of my question and if they're already if they're if they've already selected if they've already got a release date 
And we all know that movies that start with a release date and nothing else always turn out great. Um, surely they're going to be working on it, like, now. <laughs> they're going to be working on the film at some, you know, now. But John Carpenter's on the road touring with his music now and until Halloween of this year. So if he's serving as a creative consultant, his, he's pretty tied up on the road until Halloween of this year. And surely, like I said, if they're shooting for a Halloween 2017 release, you would think that they're, you know, they've, <laughs> they're trying to get this, the, the ball rolling on Halloween 2017 as quickly as possible. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, but wasn't John Carpenter a producer on the Fog remake? I, I guess what I'm trying to say here is how serious are they going to take this, this Halloween film? And I think we're going to find that out very soon. When we find out who's writing the film and we find out who is directing the movie. Now, just today, I started hearing rumors that Mike Flanagan is going to direct the movie. Who Mike Flanagan did Hush, he did Oculus, he did Absentia. I've not seen Hush yet, but I hear really good things. I loved Absentia. I really liked Oculus. So if that is true, they're taking the movie seriously. <laughs> they're taking the movie seriously. And, I, and that would get me really excited to, to put the next Halloween fan, film into the hands of a good filmmaker is a very good idea. So if 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 that and if that's just a rumor, and it turns out that they're handing, you know, they say, hey, you know, we've got a script. It's written by the guy who wrote Paranormal Possession movie number twelve, and we've got a director, and the director directed Ouija Possession Paranormal Investigator number four movie. Then they're probably not taking it very seriously. Um. <laughs> so, you know, again, I've, I've had a, a number of people like say, hey, did you hear about this? Did you hear about this? I'm really excited. And I understand the excitement, having John Carpenter on board for a new Halloween film. But again, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just getting cynical in my old age, but I kind of feel like these franchise movies, these ones that we that you know, people of my generation grew up with, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Halloween. You know, at this point, we're, we're only really, it seems like we're only really getting excited about them based on just nostalgia factor alone. Because whatever movie comes out that's got the Friday the 13th title or the Halloween title or the Nightmare on Elm Street title attached to it, it's not going to live up to our memories of those films from, you know, the 80s. Those original series that we all grew up with and that we all loved or everyone of my generation grew up with and loved. Um, so it's just, you know, times have changed. Things are different. <laughs> you know, they don't make movies like that anymore. So hearing about the next Friday the 13th movie or the next whatever, and people getting really excited about it based on their memories of old, you know, I, I get very sort of cautious about that because we've seen, you know, the remakes, we've seen the reboots, we've seen the sequels to the remakes and the sequels to the reboots and... Uh, the prequels to the to the remakes and they're just not the same films they're not cut from the same cloth they may have the same name they may have some of the same characters they're just cut from the a, a totally different cloth they're not the same film so that's something that I, I definitely weigh uh, very heavily and you know I'm really hoping the best for Halloween 2017, but I would just plead, you know, be optimistic, be cautiously optimistic. And again, how seriously will they take Halloween 2017? I think we'll soon find out when they announce who the writer is, who the director is, etc., etc. And if if Mike Flanagan is going to write and direct it or direct it or be involved, you know, <laughs> that would be that would certainly lead me to believe that they're taking it very, very seriously. And that would get me 
pretty excited about it. It, it. That would raise my optimism level, put it that way, quite a bit. Uh, but I just, I just don't want people, you know, lifting this movie up and and, and just sort of making their expectations so high just simply because John Carpenter is attached as a producer. Again, John Carpenter was attached as a producer to the Fog remake. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Um, so just having his name there alone, just saying that he's got some sort of creative input, we don't know that. And, and whether or not the final product will reflect that at all, we don't know yet. Again, we'll find out more how seriously they're taking this movie you know, in the coming weeks and, and, and months. And I do hope that the rumor that Mike Flanagan is going to direct the film is, is true, because again, that would definitely, that would raise the bar quite a bit um, for me. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, those are just kind of my thoughts on Halloween 2017. We're gonna, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. We've had all those false starts, you know what I mean, since I mean, when did Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 come out? I mean, that was, what, a, 10 years ago? And we've had all these false starts up to this point, and now definitely Halloween 2017, I think, is is going to happen. Um, and releasing it in Halloween, or around Halloween, we've not had a Halloween movie released around Halloween since Halloween 6 20 years ago. Yeah, gosh, it is. Yeah, 20. Oh, gosh. I, I feel old. Um... <laughs> So, I mean, there's definitely some positives there. Um, but again, just be optimistic. Just be cautiously optimistic. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Halloween 2017. Are you stoked? Are you, like me, are you cautiously optimistic? What was your reaction, your initial reaction to when you read about or when you heard that John Carpenter was returning to the Halloween franchise? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Take care, and until next time, peace.